Diversion Project and to expand organic diversion programs to all composting operations. Reference Communication 206, introduced by Ms. Eoff. Greg Goodale, uh, Solid Waste Division Chief. And uh, Ms. Peters, would you like to introduce yourself? Linda Peters, County Recycling Coordinator. Okay, thank you. Okay. Council members, um, I'll open this up to discussion. Well, as you know, our current operation, we have two, uh, two main facilities, one in Hilo and one in, over by the landfill in West Hawaii. And right now, the feedstocks are untreated wood pallets and green waste. And the process that contractor is doing per the contract with the county is to grind up the materials or create mulch from it. Well, as we all know, um, we have a little fire ant problem, especially over here in, in East Hawaii, and we've had several meetings with um, Department of Ag and with uh, Councilman Fresh to discuss that and to look at how we can minimize the impacts. So we had a meeting, um, and it was discussed that this PFRP process can be done in an open windrow method, um, through a process of turning the materials and through a process of checking the temperatures to make sure that it hits a certain level. Now, this isn't composting. This is simply treatment of the mulch. And so our idea is to solicit proposals that would include the cost of doing that. We understand it's going to be more costly than just grinding it because there's more labor and, uh, and equipment needed. So the idea was to go ahead and, and solicit a proposal that include that service and then take it to the next level, which would be to operate or to have the contractor do a demonstration composting project um, at the East Hawaii facility. Why? Um, would you would you recommend that we only do it on the east side rather than doing demonstration both on the east side and the west side? In answer to your question as to why we're going to do the uh, demonstration project just on the east side, um, and you know I know this has been discussed uh, previously that the conditions in East Hawaii are much more conducive to running the kind of uh, project that we're looking at. Um, the site at uh, the West Hawaii landfill um, doesn't have the availability of, of water in the same way that uh, uh, we do in, the East, in East Hawaii. Um, the water there at uh, West Hawaii landfill is brackish and isn't conducive to that kind of uh, operation, um, especially for a, a demonstration compost uh, project. But even for the PFRP, there's, you know, a lot of wind issues that we have to deal with. And when you're doing an open wind row um, operation like that, it, it does get impacted if you have uh, higher winds, which we definitely have over on that site. Um, so those are some of the things we thought about before we, you know, put this together as to which sites would be the most conducive to uh, running this operation. But the reality is the materials that are going to be produced – from that operation are going to be made available island-wide. It's not as if um, the material's only going to be available in East Hawaii. Um, okay, and that was some of the concern for uh, constituents in my area was sort of um, so much of the mulch is there on the uh, west side, and then here we have it on the east side, and where is the demand for more of that compost? I don't know if you have any other uh, comments just stressing the importance of getting these materials out of the landfill one um, and also two the importance of sort of relieving all the concerns about the little red fire ant you know I know there's a less possibility on the west side but there's still a lot of concern or fear because um, just because it's such a high level of risk who are you contracted with and how much is that contract currently the, the contract uh, currently with a company called Hawaiian Earth Products, um, and they operate the facilities on both uh, east and west side of the island. Um, the total contract value is, yeah, is a, a million, is it a million eight hundred thousand? A million eight hundred thousand. And that covers both uh, operations, west side and east side. You know, ultimately, we want to be heading in the direction of a full compact compost program, but we feel like this is the step um, to at least be able to gather some good data and show that, that once we have some compost 
uh, made available to folks that people would realize that this is a, a, a product that people want, that they're willing to pay for. Um, as far as the PFRP process, um, we knew that, uh, especially working with uh, Council Member Onishi, that uh, this was a concern that um, not sending material out to the public that, that had, um, whether it's the little fire ants or the coffee borer beetle or whatever um, might be in there, that this was a process that would at least ensure to us that it was going to kill those pathogens. After four years, we're going to pay $10 million and we come away with nothing in terms of mechanic, equipment? Well, we'll come away with um, a higher level of service. We're going to come away with knowing that we provided um, mulch to the <coughs> folks that was at a higher grade than what we currently provide. That doesn't have the invasive species in it. Mm -hmm. um, we also come away with um, information on a composting program. I, which I, I understand that, but nothing concrete. I mean, infrastructure. I'm... I, I'm a kind of guy, when I invest certain amount of money, I expect to have something that's tangible, and for me, tangible, something on the ground. Mm -hmm. so that's just my concern here. Especially when we're spending, you're looking at $10 million. It's just what I wanted to just get out there. So we, we, we're basically getting services. But in terms of the department itself, it's still going to have to go out again, contract again after the four years to somebody else. You know what, I, what I'm saying? I'm saying the county itself, the Department of Environmental Management, putting something on the ground for, our, for the future. That's what I'm kind of concerned about. If the council members want to pay more to get more, then we need to let them know. But if they want to do what they, like this project right now, then we support them. But my understanding is, aren't they going to put like one cement slab or some kind, something down on the ground? We are in the process of uh, talking to Department of Health because as they are the regulatory agency and they would be issuing the permit to do the PFRP and the demo composting. And uh, depending, my understanding is if the feedstocks are just green waste and wood pallets, that they don't have to have the expense of putting in a concrete pad oh. to set up the windrows. But we're okay. still in negotiations and still learning and still working with Department of Health on those questions. Well, that, that's good to hear. Yeah. So I, I know they are trying their best to get a solution done, right? And because the thing is, we found fire ants in the mulch. Okay. And then so what I'm worried about, and I made a concern that I made a point to them was that we need to stop that because if we're trying to eradicate around the island and we're having this mulch going around and there's fire ants and all you need is a queen. A queen will set up the nest. Okay. And so it, it will defeat what we're trying to do. So by having this program in, at least we can say that whatever, once this program starts, starts going, we can say this mulch is treated. Right, and we know for a fact that there's no fire ants and no other invasive species in this this mulch, and so like they, like Greg had mentioned earlier too, there's a possibility of maybe we can have it like purchase because of the quality of this mulch. Correct. Well, we're, what we're referencing is the more the demonstration right. compost. But after, I mean, once because once we get this going and we can move forward, right? That's Correct. a possibility, right? Correct. And then that's where. Revenue can come back into the county or can go into the company, then we might have to pay less because they're getting compensated. So this is just a starting point. And that's the great part that I hear is that because now we fall out, there's a problem. Now they're moving forward to try and fix it. And this is to help protect the whole island. So I'm just asking for all you guys' support. Thank you.